Welcome back to Mystical Ninja Starring Going Jesus. On Episode 2, yeah. <laughs> so, I did the whole uh, pot trick, I guess you want to call it like that, for about, I'd say, 20 minutes. God! And that's literally <laughs> more money than we'll probably ever need. Uh, so, I was wondering if it stopped at 999, so it probably stops at four nines, right? You pr probably. If I would have gone for about three hours, I could have done it. But as you can see, my chain pipe can't reach, so now we have to do jump shots oh, now. Oh, man. So, get good. Get, get more technical, and it's only, what, the second episode? Right off the bat, we got a silver key, because we came this way first. Okay. <laughs> you can see we could only go this way. Well, well uh, one plus one equals two, right? I'm going to be blazing through this game, trust me. Okay. Pro tip, when you see an unlocked door... Go in it. <laughs> and immediately get hurt. And immediately get hurt. Excellent. The idea here is obviously kill everyone and everything in here. So just be a murdering bastard. Yes. Okay. I can get behind that. Totally. Let's check out uh, Ebi Sumaru's little animation first. Oh, I guess we didn't see it. No. <laughs> I no still way. love He's like, HELP! Let's be him for a little bit. We've been uh, showing Goemon a little bit of love, but uh, we'll uh, go ahead and do some of the castle as him. Okay. His running animation cracks me up. All of them. Like see what's over in the distance over there? Yep, I see it. Another silver fortune doll. I don't think Ibisamaru is constantly running towards the freezer aisle for the next Klondike bar. He's just running so quickly. I don't think they had Klondike bars in the Meiji oh my era. God, here we go. What? <laughs> That's his crouching animation. Yeah! I just remembered <laughs> press Z to crouch. Oh, that's amazing. That's five silver fortune dolls. Excellent. Uh, oh, what was the point of getting on the platforms then? I thought water was death. Nope. Well, just based on how you were playing, I thought <laughs> I thought water was death. I got you fooled! Okay, fine. I don't know it's my just way. I can't, just, I can't get up on those platforms. I have to go up on a slope. Okay. So this here is Mr. Elephant. Or the dungeon map. Oh. Okay. Just out in the open like that, I see. Yep. Sweet. Press Z. Or press start. There's a little pause screen. We hold press Z and there's the map. Excellent. Not exactly the clearest, but uh, it certainly does help in terms of context and, you know, getting your bearings. Three floors. Huge rooms. So I'd say we're looking pretty good. Excellent. 100% run. Yes. That's what we're doing. Well, it's as close to 100% as we can get, at least. No, nope, no, nope. you claimed 100% run. I want to see it. Okay. okay, fine. If you count 100% as no deaths and all silver fortune dolls, then yeah, we're doing it that, as Goemon. That'll work. This is pretty much Goemon's dungeon anyway. Is it just... Th this one's basically made to get used to the controls and the characters, right? Pretty much, to get used to the, con the concept of the game, but this is pretty much Goemon's dungeon, because there's star block puzzles, and Goemon just got a chain pipe. There's actually only four dungeons in this game. Really? Actually, technically five, but four main levels. And we're on the first one. Yep. Wow. Now, something's going on here. There should have been a key to appear, but... For some reason, it just didn't. Uh. Okay. I think the reason being is because I had accidentally not killed any of them. So we'll fade out and we'll go to the next one. Oh. So the key just kind of appeared. Okay. So what I had to, what I had to do is I had to destroy some of those panels and it, it just appeared. I don't know. It was really weird. It's never happened before. Okay. Anyway, next up. Make our way over here. The gold lock. <gasps> the super special key. We do need a super special key. Let's go over here first. Does it mean just kill all enemies in the room, or you just have to find it? You just have to find it. It's just a better key. Oh. <laughs> but a different key. Well, if you think about it, a gold key would be very brittle in, uh, in contrast to a silver key. There's no way that it could stand up to the cast iron locks of the Meiji era. 
thank you very much. <laughs> well, actually, you were right. It is another instance of kill all the enemies in the room. Okay. And that is, well, that's indeed the gold key. Hmm. Well, that was way too easy. Pretty straightforward. I don't know why we gotta do a let's play on this. No, I don't know. I mean, it could be interesting. Could be good for some laughs. I've had a couple so far. Other people are doing it. <laughs> are they? I don't know. <laughs> I don't. I don't know if they're doing it in this day and age, but they're probably off playing like Bloodborne or something. Oh, that'd be the cool thing to do, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yes. No. Let's play a very good game that's uh, um, easy and not impossible. Hey, look! It's another restock room. Wow. Go away, monster! Loves 30, you. That's thirty coins. That's ninety coins. I, I believe, if I did the math right. Uh, yeah, I think you're right. And, uh, better yet? Oh, God, no! It's... <laughs> uh, no, no, I think we got enough. Yeah, we literally, okay, okay. we literally have more than we'll probably ever need. Gotcha, like, gotcha. I think the most expensive thing in here, you know, re required-wise, is 800 coins. And you have and, far surpassed that. And that's, like, at the end of the game, so we are gonna be fine. All right, all right. In this room, so head on up to the second floor. And we've got suicidal cleaning dumplings. I just realized this game is weird. You just now realized. Well, I mean, I had an, a whole other game to ponder it, but now I think, yeah, it's uh, it's pretty weird. Yeah, that's that's kind of the the appeal of it, I believe. We need to go in this door because there's something over there. Something collectible wise. So another silver fortune doll. Just out in the open, it's like, yeah, here it is. Okay. It would have at least had me kill these two dudes first. No, no, this is the first dungeon, therefore easy. I'll do it anyway out of courtesy. <laughs> it's like, oh please kill these guys. And the music changed. Oh, I thought you were going to get crushed on purpose. Nope. Can you get crushed on purpose? You can, but I, I won't. But but I want you to get crushed on purpose. I'm not going to get crushed on purpose. Okay. Listen to the fact that music changed. That's like really cool and innovative, man. That's like what the N64 was known for. Changing dynamic music when you go into different stages of the level. It's awesome. Actually, that's a good point. I know a lot of games that did that. Banjo-Kazooie did it. And in turn, Donkey Kong 64 did it. See, they added, like, a percussion line and everything. It's cool. It's more complex and gets you really into it. It's like, yeah, I can do this. I got this. Uh, mm. I mean, I maybe guess. That's why, maybe that's why it's called Ganbare Goemon, because Ganbare means, like, you know, keep going, fight on. Like, it might be difficult, but keep going anyway, you know. And the music is, like, really kind of gets you into it. Maybe, that, maybe that's it. It totally makes sense. A, a game where you're supposed to be excited by the music to help you continue on to the hard and difficult and frustrating levels. So you figured out the infinite paradox that is a, what, 10-year-old game? 98, so, uh... Hmm. No, almost 20 years. Almost 20-year-old game. This is important. We need to remember this, this spot. I'll remember. Right now we'll go in here and take out everything in here first. And by that I mean you'll remember for me. Well, actually, we didn't even need to do that, because the key's just right there. Oh. So, yeah. All right, now we can head back. Excellent. Jump shot. So all of that just for a key, then? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. But also to show us that gigantic hand. That is important. That is important. That is very, very important. How important is ah. it? Oh, God. Well, you'll see how important it is. Ah. Goemon. Get Getting there. stuck on corners. G go Goemon. Oh, Wait. failure. Oh, ah. failure. I love it. I don't know what happened. I think someone programmed the slope wrong or something. <laughs> it's I, can't, I just can't get the fuck up there. It's like I'm... <laughs> he, he, program I don't know. he programmed a cube and put it in the geometry. It's. I don't know. It's like three layers. One of them... The, the bottom two are, are a slope, and the top one's, like, a wall. But yeah. anyway, Mr. Arrow, this is the compass. Oh. We can say the boss is on the third floor. Well, I could have told you that. 
bell. We now have a destination. Let's kill this son of a bitch. If I ever design a Zelda game, I think I'm gonna make a dungeon map that doesn't show all the rooms. So you can, still, you can still find hidden rooms and pieces of paper that have scrawled on, you know, where you can bomb a wall that doesn't that's not obvious or whatever. So basically the first and second Zelda game. Wouldn't that be cool? So what, to go back in time to a more complex time with no internet? That would be nice. Zelda Wii U hype. <laughs> this is secretly all a commercial for the next Zelda game. <laughs> Click here to subscribe to Nintendo's official channel on YouTube. <laughs> oh, you, I think you almost said Nintendo Power. Whoa, Baron! I think I did too. <laughs> Another thing that's innovative about this game, or at least unique. You'll hear it. Danger doesn't smell very good. It's a laugh track. I didn't put that in. Oh, wow. They actually put a laugh track to some of these more ridiculous scenes. Like it's all in a theater. And look at that. It's another... <laughs> <laughs> huh. They well, really want you to win. They really do. Oh. The darkness. Oh. Andros! Oh, Congo, I mean. <laughs> Uncle Congo! <laughs> this is about as easy as the boss has come. He just, he's just a big stupid head, so... Oh, is this why we had to remember where the hands were? That's what that hand was. Oh. That was him. This is just a big monster. He's a big old monster. But we can only fight his head. Oh. Kind of a weird design flaw. So yeah, I was I was thinking like the hand would come out of the stage to attack you. That would take GameCube graphics, man. Oh, true. We're we're, we're jumping ahead in innovation here. They stopped releasing these games in the West once it came out on the PS2. Although from what I hear, that might have been for the best. They start sucking. Well, they got real. Oh. Like, the dark, gritty Sony reboot for the PS2. Oh, God. Sony, you ruined another franchise. That was back in 2000, though. No. no. They recently had, a, like, a, a big return to form in 2005 for the DS. And they haven't made another game since. You know, it's probably good to let this uh, let the series die. Instead, they have to invest it all in Silent Hills and shit. Like, I don't mean like Silent Hills, the Kojima Del Toro one. I'm talking Silent Hills, all of the crappy ones that could have gone into <laughs> games like this, you know? All the Western ones. Terrible. Ugh. Except for, uh... Oh, what was, the, what was the one for the Wii that actually looked decent because it took away weapons? Which... Uh, huh? which, which Silent Hill? Downpour? No. No, no, Sh no. Shattered Memories. They're yeah. talking, they talking Goemon. No, it's, no. <laughs> you know a game I don't know about? Oh, wow. The, the Goemon where they took away weapons. Well, by the way, we won. Oh, very good. Gets the big so, head. Yeah, just hit the gigantic red spot on his chin. You really shouldn't have a problem with this boss. If so, you need to go back and play some easier video games. Moon Prism Power. That's oh. Tough. It's a miracle moon in the shape of a star. What? Well, we could go that way, but we're not going to go that way. Oh, yep, go past the hand. We got to go back to that hand place. Hmm. What treasures lie beyond the hand? And just because I've never done this before, I'm going to go back the whole way. Now, I'm, uh, I'm curious. Can you miss that? Like, is there a point where you can't come back? You can come back here, yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> So that's what happens when you fall in a pit. Uh, this good. Is the patient. This is the patient's room. Oh, good, good. 
I was hoping that would happen at least once, he, he, like here in the beginning of the Let's Play. I was hoping. It'll it'll happen a couple of times because again, I'm working with not the not the best of joysticks here. Uh huh. Yeah, sure. Blame the controls. What are you five? <laughs> if I die, it's my fault. If I fall, it's the controller's fault. Can you give me that? Mm, sure, I'll give you that one. Besides, it's not even like the buttons or anything. It's just the control stick. It's it's, it's a twenty-five year old piece. Of t <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> God, it's like I'm back in the arcades. No, oh, you didn't win. My controls are broken. I got next game. <laughs> so it doesn't matter because they give me a golden dumpling right there anyway. It's because you pick Ryu, you spamming bitch. And jump shot. Another <laughs> jump shot. Jump shot. Oh, that that last one. Oh, brilliant jump shot. Mm -hmm. So now the hand is gone. Oh. So we jump shot. Nice. Ah, shit. <laughs> jump shot. Ah. So this is evidently a secret because now we have a secret spell to us in Rio. Oh. Is that a character? It's, it says go e, and then a little dash. Go e. Go e. Go e mon. It's like go away. Go oh, away. Hey. Go. <laughs> Yeah, I'm really drunk. Go away! Go away! <laughs> oh, cool. You got uh, another heart. Even more goddamn coins. Oh, good. Keep it going. more of these, yeah. I want to see you get 9999, nine, nine, nine. I think you missed a couple coins. We'll try it. But anyway, let's go skip ahead. All right. Continuing on. To the actual door. Thank you. I would have laughed if it would have just stayed closed. <laughs> well, at least two are fine. Lord, what's his name? And Princess Yuki. So that world shattering explosion didn't, t like, take him down at all. This totally reminds me of uh, the classic 1957 Akira Kurosawa film, The Hidden Fortress. Uh huh, sure. Due does. to the presence of the jolly old warrior, uh, Lord, there. And of course, Princess Yuki, one of the strongest Japanese females in Japanese film. I just want to see this lord, like, like bang his hands on the table and say, Did you destroy my giant head and hand? They were not going to help him, though. No. Oh, uh, okay. But, okay, he's going to start betting us if we don't. Do it for justice. I knew I could count on you and only you. Just me. <laughs> Cause my name is on the game. Well, now that he gave us a super pass, we can go pass through the gate <gasps> in Oedo Town. Yes! On further south down Japan. Woohoo! Yeah. More game. More game. You know, this is the second game I'm playing that's taking place in Japan. Kind of strange. It's almost as if you have a niche appeal. This game actually did start my love of Japanese <laughs> culture. <laughs> and the uh, ever so lovely Crouch. Well, I showed off Amy Samara's. I better show off Goemon's, too. True. 